Hello there, I'm Eric Renault and this is another video for tipsquirrel.com and it's another reader's request and this week I've been asked if I can put some light streaks around a bottle. Well, here we go. This is what our finished item will look like. Let's get cracking, shall we? Okay, let's turn off that group with all my light streaks in it at the moment and let's start afresh. First thing I'm going to do is get the pen tool and then I'm going to draw a kind of strange shape. I'm going to start here and then click next to the bottle and then up to the top and then across. Okay, then I'm going to put two little points in halfway up the line. There we go. Okay, so there we are. Now I'm going to go and get my direct selection tool, this white arrow, which means then I can choose these little anchor points. I'm going to choose this one to start with. I'm going to pull that one to where I kind of want it. And I'm going to take this one and, well, I'm actually going to pull it over and then I'm going to delete it. So just right click and delete anchor point. It just makes it easier. Okay, let's put that one over. I just want this one to go over the neck quite nicely. That is going to mean too much of a angle there. So let's right click on that and we'll delete that anchor point. So we had too many anchor points, but it did make it easier just to get our original S shape. Okay, I'm happy with that as a starting point, I think. Let's just pull this one over a bit more. Okay, there we go. Now the next thing we need to do is prepare a brush. So I'm going to go over and get on my brush tool and then click on this icon here, which will open up the brush panel. And I'm going to go to brush tip shape first of all. I'm going to pick out one of these star shapes. And then I'm going to bring it up. And for my image, it's working best around about 150 pixels. There we go. And you can see it's not very big on the image, but uh, it's good enough for this. Right, next, I want to make sure in my shape and dynamics all these are set right down at zero percent and this control here is a pen pressure very important okay let's close that down okay let's create a new layer and we'll call that one streak a streak oops a daisy streak okay and then let's go to the paths and there is our work path that's that s-shaped path there what we're going to do here is right click and then choose stroke path and a dialog box will come up. If brush isn't already there go and choose it from the drop down menu and you get this nice little thing here simulate pressure make sure that's ticked then when we click OK it'll stroke that and it'll put these nice little brush strokes on it beautiful. Let's click off the work path and let's go back over to our layers now on the streak layer, let's double click just in the blank space here to bring up our layer styles. And there's going to be ones in here that you probably would imagine we're going to use, starting with Outer Glow. So there we go, Outer Glow. And I'm going to choose a kind of lightish yellow for this. Your choice of colours is up to you. I'm going to choose a lightish yellow. Click OK. Um, my size, well, I'm going to bring that quite a lot up in this image. Again, all about experimentation it's about 70 pixels and I'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge and there it is you see how it just popped really nicely let's go back to screen and then linear dodge and look at the way it interacts with the bottle as well really nice okay that's that one done next I want to go to inner glow probably no surprises there either and this time on the inner glow, what I want to do is choose a slightly darker yellow, I think, this time. So we'll go a little bit darker, something along those lines. OK, let's click OK on that one. Next, I want to change the blend mode of this one from screen to linear burn. There we go. We've added a bit of the yellow in there. And a size for me, 17, is just about fine for this one. Now you may want to have a bit of a play with technique. If I go to precise here, it fills it in quite a lot. But if I go down to a sort of one or two pixels, you can see it's a bit of a harder edge. Quite nice. Okay, but for me, on this one, 17 and softer. Okay, let's type 17 in. Probably be easier. There we go. So if I just turn off the inner glow, and on again, you can see the difference it's making. And then finally, what I want to do is I want to go to Inner Shadow. 
strangely enough. So in a shadow, and you see it's set to black and multiply at the moment. We're going to change that. Let's change the color first of all to a darker yellow. Not much darker, but darker nonetheless. Already that's made a difference. Let's turn that on and off. Okay, but let's change that one to hard light. And there we go. If I make this just a little bit darker or lighter, you can see the difference it's making. And the choice then is entirely up to you how you want it to look. Okay, that's going to do me for now. Let's click OK. And then OK. And there is our first light streak. I'm just going to close down the effects here just to keep it all nice and neat and tidy. Now, it isn't quite the shape that I want, but that's OK. Control T or Command T if you're on the Mac. And then right click and I can warp that so now I can start pulling this about and it keeps that nice kind of rounded effect like a streak I really do want it just to come over the shoulder there that's kind of how I'm looking good okay click the tick and we're about done on that now I need to put some of the light streak behind the bottle so I'm gonna to have to create a mask well the first thing I'm gonna do is hold down control or command if you're on a Mac that's control on a PC and go over to the bottle layer and then on the icon here you see that my cursor changes I click and sure enough the bottle is selected I'm still on my streak layer I hold down alt and then I click new mask and sure enough it masks out the bottle and that's because it's much easier to mask back in the, the light streak than it is masking it out okay let's go and get a brush just a normal soft edge brush for this one and I want it to go under no over under over so over and over there we go and we've created one streak already okay control or command and J to duplicate the layer then let's get rid of the mask on that we can delete that it's not a problem then control T and then we can flip horizontally it's looking good then right click and warp and we can tidy this one up a bit just make it look a little bit different to the other one there we go let's bring that one down a little bit maybe in let's bring that one down there we go maybe round that off just a little bit differently okay click the tick and go and do the mask thing again so on the bottle layer control on a PC command on the Mac click and then alt and then click for the mask there we go now this time I want to go under over under so with my brush we just want to do the over bit whoops a daisy control Z and let's do the proper way there we are and there we have it we have our two light streaks going around the bottle and of course I can add brand new ones however I like there we are I'm Eric Reno thank you very much for bearing with me be sure to check out all the other notes at tipsquirrel.com for tips and tricks for Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw. And it is all completely 100% free to view. I look forward to seeing you there. Bye bye for now.